Today I want to talk to you about zero login attack. This is an attack that surfaced about five months ago. Microsoft now has it on their list. There's a patch for it. I'd like to walk you through the process of exploiting a domain name server. This exploit requires a domain name server that's vulnerable to net login or the zero login attack. Just a little bit of background about this exploit. On September 11th, researchers at Secura published a blog post for a critical vulnerability. They dubbed it Zero Logon. The post itself creates a white paper. I have a link down below explaining the full impact of the vulnerability. The vulnerability was identified as CVE2020-1472. It received a CVS SV3 score of 10. This is the maximum score. This was patched in August by Microsoft. This disclosure follows a previous net logon related vulnerability, which was 2019-1424. This is a privilege escalation vulnerability. There are now over a dozen proof of concepts and exploits available for zero logon. This demonstration will leverage the one from RiskSense on GitHub. All links to the tool used here are down below for reference. This exploit is dependent on an up-to-date version of Impacket, and that's version 0.9.21 or higher. Again, that's 0.9.21 or higher. This will not work reliably with past versions. You may install Impacket and manage it in your environment, or you may alternately use a PIP3 virtual Impacket environment, ensuring the new Impacket version is the latest, and more importantly, avoid affecting your environment with updates to other Impacket dependencies. First, we scan the machine IP address with Nessus. Using a vulnerability scanner like Nessus will speed up our analysis. We create a new scan, choose a basic network scan. In this case, let's assume we're not sure what kind of an asset we're scanning. We enter the name of the scan, a brief description, and finally, the IP address of the asset. We then launch the scan. Once the scan is complete, we drill into the 23 vulnerabilities identified and clearly see an informational alert that this asset was detected as a DNS server or domain name server. We can see port 53 is running DNS server services. We have confirmed we have a DNS server and now we want to test if this DNS server is indeed vulnerable. We will create a new scan and choose the Nessus Zero Login Remote Scan, which explicitly tests for the vulnerability. As before, we enter the details, the IP address, and launch the scan. Once complete, we drill into the identified vulnerabilities and indeed the asset is vulnerable to net login elevation of privileges. The plugin also gives us some insight into what is actually occurring during the test. The plugin tries to bypass the net logon authentication by trying, spoofing, attempting to log on with all zero password 256 times. You can alternatively use the zero network zero login testing script. This script requires Python 3 and other requirements. The positional arguments for input are the NetBIOS name of the domain controller, which in this case is a 0-1 and the IP address. As we saw previously, this script verifies the information provided by Nessus. 
The next step is to exploit the machine by setting an empty password for the machine. To reset the DC machine password, we use the set underscore empty underscore pw dot py script. Similar to the test script, this script not only tries a zero password string, but once it's able to authenticate, inserts an empty string as the new password. The domain controller's machine password is now set to null. Now we will use Impacket's secretsdump.py to dump all the credentials on the domain controller. By invoking the script, we're now able to read all the NTLM hashes on the domain controller. We also have access to read all the Kerberos keys. Now that we have the administrator hash, be sure to select the entire hash and copy that. We can now use that with a multitude of tools to gain an administrative remote shell on the domain controller. We could also crack the NTLM hash offline into a clear text password and log in. By using PSXPY, using the hash as an argument to log in, we're able to get a reverse shell. By issuing the command who am I, we also see we're able to get access to the full domain controller with NT authority system access. This is clearly a critical vulnerability, which puts not only the asset at risk, but also risks pivot attacks on other assets on the network. Thanks for your time, and again the links are down below.